dare to walk this path with me? One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. So take your first step. It's now or never! What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, bringing you another Fire Emblem Three Houses video. And for this one, we're going to take you back to the trailer. And there is a lot of things in this trailer that, um, that you can actually kind of glean about the story of the game. And of course, it presents a lot of questions, but it also gives us some pretty interesting little, little tidbits that we can kind of build theories on. And you know, as a theory builder myself, all I need is a little bit. Just give me a, a, little, a little dab, we'll do a bunch of theories. So let's get into this. So, alright, so basically what's going on here, and it's an interesting thing that has kind of happened in the game, or in the trailer, that it seems that there's at least two different wars going on. If you look at all the cutscene parts of the trailer, it, all, it seems like there are knights versus barbarians, or knights versus vikings, or something to that extent. But if you look at the gameplay, it looks like, you know, our three main protagonists, or the three leaders of the houses, versus what appears to be knights the same knights from the trailer you know the the cutscene part of the trailer so what i'm gonna do is i have three theories just like the last video and i'm gonna break them down for you right now so the war taking place in the cutscene i think is probably the initial war that you have in the game so this is going to be a war, either the outside powers of Fjolden, I think that's what the name of the place is, because um, I kind of forgot how to say it. <laughs> um, I think the, the powers around Fjolden could be attacking her. Uh, I mean, because they mentioned that, you know, the seals are not the key to peace. They're, they're actually the opposite. So maybe these powers are attacking them for these, like, seals that you see in the big picture with the goddess and the dragons. Um, you know, the barbarians could be trying to take those, or it could be vice versa. You know, the, the, the church could be invading these other countries in order to take the seals from them and to get all the seals together to, I don't know, make a wish. <laughs> I think this is where you and your students come in. I think you are training your students to participate in this war. Because remember, this is a military academy, and the three house lords are your students so you're probably training them to fight this war <laughs> the war in the gameplay so the war in the gameplay is a bit more interesting because there is this one line right here from the trailer. Do you dare to walk this path with me? One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. From who appears to be Edrigard. I think it's Edrigard. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's her. And she is basically, you know, saying, you know, one misstep, and we'll fall to our ruin. This sounds like, kind of like a plan for a rebellion. You know, so they're planning to rebel against the church, or take some kind of action against the church. And one misstep, one mistake, one screw up, and that's it. They're all probably going to go to jail or possibly die. You know, they'll probably get executed as traitors. So, you know, that sounds like what she's saying, you know, in the trailer. Which will be kind of interesting because this will present the second war. And that would explain why our main characters are fighting against the knights who saved the chick in the original, you know, the cutscene part of the trailer. And it's actually pretty interesting, you know. I mean, I kind of suspected that they might do a civil war type of thing in this game because, I mean, they've already stated that the church is evil and, well, possibly evil. And maybe, you know, maybe Soros is using this revelation from the goddess for his own devices. Kind of like, you know, real life, you know, religions have done in the past. Um, and that, you know, of course, Edregard and the other house lords, they don't like this and they want to stop this. They want to set their country free. And this starts a rebellion. That takes me to theory number three. So this is where it 
all gets interesting. So, now, one other theory about why our main characters seem to be fighting knights and things involves two other parts of the trailer. First is this scene right here. Where you see the guy from House Yellow, because I can't remember his name. All I know is it's the Prince dude. <laughs> he looks like Prince. But the guy from House Yellow... Uh, speaking of, why couldn't they make him purple? That would have been freaking sweet. Like, from House Purple. He looks like... I guess it maybe just too on the nose. But, back to the theory, though. So, dude from House Yellow seems to be fighting this giant robot. Now, the thing is, the robot doesn't move. It doesn't look like it can attack. It looks like it's some sort of training dummy. And maybe that's exactly what it is. Because this is a military academy, so he could be in training. So the battles with all these uh, knights could very well be a type of war game or a type of mock battle. You know, and it could be part of your training. You know, because you're a teacher and you're teaching them battle tactics. Of course, in a mock war, you would use real soldiers, maybe even rookies. Um, and that could be the explanation for why these knights are here. Why our main characters are fighting other knights. But then we get another quote from possible Edregard in the trailer. I will return here someday, my teacher. Promise me that you won't forget me. That's right. We hear Edregard basically saying, you know, asking her, 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 um, her instructor, which is the main character, which is you, not to forget her. And so this this sounds like she, she's going to have to leave, but she's going to come back. So two things could be happening. Either A, she could just be graduating and going off to start her life as an actual lord and ruling over her house. Or this could be the start of the rebellion. So, you know, you could be training them as uh as you know as warriors and as tacticians and this is the start of the rebellion that, that you know they have to go and fight she's gonna leave you but she's gonna come back because of course you can't go because then you know if you leave you know then that might bring suspicion to them as to why you left you know so maybe the rebellion starts and you're not part of it maybe you're actually gonna have to battle against your students troops eventually until they can get to the point where they can save you interesting interesting i i'm telling you i like the theory i know these theories do kind of hype people up and they get people's expectations up and then it just doesn't happen uh i mean remember these are theories i have no insider information i have no idea i have i probably know about as much about the game as you do um but yeah, these are theories, and uh, you know, you have no real idea if they're going to be in the game or not. But yeah, man, that would be freaking sick if like you have to like make all these decisions and choices, and eventually you have to fight your own, you know, I'm saying your own students, you know, and um, you know, kind of like oh, you know, in this war, until eventually they win or they get to the point where they get to the academy and they can kind of like break you out, and you can actually help them. That would be a sick story. And what if you can play from both sides? <clears throat> I, I think I'm more excited for this game than I am for Pokemon. And that's and that's crazy. <laughs> uh, but that's about it for this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, folks, hit the bell. And keep it real.